Hi everyone, I hope you like my presentation. I feel like I'm back in school, but I wanted to give you my thoughts on Blue Apron. As you know, I did one meal kit. I do have one on the way, which is full price. For anyone who doesn't know, Blue Apron is a meal service. They send you meal kits to your house. They also have ready-made meals that you can just heat up also. You sign up, you tell them how many meals you want, how many servings you want per week, pick your meals, they send it to you with the recipe, you make it, voila. So the first pro is quality ingredients. I noticed when I was taking the ingredients out of my first box that it would say things like grass-fed beef, no hormones, no antibiotics. It's quality ingredients. I mean, everything was fresh. Nothing was spoiled upon delivery. So you do get what you pay for. But let's head over to the con section. Limited meal options. Every week you're gonna choose your meals that are gonna be sent to your house. They pre-choose it for you, so you do have to remember to log in and swap them out or you're gonna get what you're gonna get. And you can customize it. We don't eat fish here, but weirdly enough, on the second week, it was prompting us on a scallop dish. That's kind of a headache too, along with the limited meal options, is apparently they don't listen to your requests because had we received a box of scallops in it, I would have been severely disappointed and contacted them because we just can't eat that. I'd probably end up giving it to a neighbor, honestly. Let's say if they have 10 options, three of those options you'll have to pay an upgrade for, and those are gonna be the ones that sound absolutely amazing. So it'll be like an additional $8.99 per serving. Figure that's an additional $18 on top of the cost of the box already. And that's kind of how they get you. But let's hop back to the pros. Another pro is you get to keep the recipe cards, which I think is cool. Yeah, usually on your phone, you look up recipes and stuff like that, but there's so many recipes on the internet right now that can be overwhelming and everybody has suggestions. This one, this is your recipe card. Follow it to the T if you wanna make some adjustments, that's all on you. And if you like it, you keep the recipe card and you can make it whenever you want. You know exactly how much zucchini you need to buy. You know exactly how many ounces of chicken you need to buy. So I think that is a good positive aspect of Blue Apron. You do learn new cooking skills and that's probably like the biggest pro for me. I'm very uninspired when it comes to the kitchen. I can make shepherd's pie, beef stew, any sort of chicken dish, chicken parmesan, whatever, but that's like it. Like I don't venture out and do like those flantas that I made, like that that just would never pop into my head. So it does expand cooking knowledge. Hopping over to the cons, the recipe isn't always clear and that kind of irked me because you would read through the steps and it would be like, you know, make the carrots, put it in the oven. And then when you go to the next step, it says, meanwhile, prep the potatoes and do this. Technically you should have prepped them both at the same time. So that way they're both going into the oven and on top of the stovetop at the same time. So if you don't read all the instructions on the recipe first, you're gonna end up putting your carrots into the oven and then look back and see the potatoes were supposed to be on the stovetop at the same time. And it can just get confusing and that. So the best way to avoid any mishap is read the recipe through the whole way. Another pro is no food waste. I mean, in a family of two, which is me and my boyfriend, anytime I cook, Every recipe you see online is for a family of like four to six. And it's hard to, yes, you can cut the recipe in half and we've done that before, but you still have so much leftovers regardless of what you do. You know, you can never just buy one stalk of celery. You gotta buy the whole thing. So it's either you're gonna sit and eat celery for a week straight or you gotta throw it out or feed it to, I don't know, some chickens down the road. So a really good thing with Blue Apron is they give you exactly what you'll need. Hopping back over to the cons, portion size can be small. And what I mean by heavy sides is they give you a zucchini as big as your arm. <laughs> so I think they're hoping that you fill up on the sides rather than the actual star of the dish itself, you know, so you're gonna get a 5.5 ounce steak, but then you're gonna get, you know, zucchini the size of your arm and like a heaping load of potatoes. So if you're really hoping that you get like a lot of chicken or a lot of beef, uh, I'm gonna say the portion size is small. But another positive is it does save time. You don't have to shop. It's delivered right to your door and they do proper cooling. Everything was ice cold. Like once you opened it up, cause it was misleading, it did feel like room temperature. But once you get into that thermal bag, everything was cold, everything was fresh. So that is a big thing. It saves time. You don't have to shop. Another negative is it's expensive. And the reason why I put depending is because if you get the steaks, which I keep referencing to that since it was in my box, we're paying full price. And let's just jump up to the higher end, $60, because the prices do fluctuate depending on when you're signing up. Each meal you get is gonna be $30, because then it gets to 60. Break that down further to two servings each, 15, 15, 15, 15. So am I eating $15 worth of food? Is he eating $15 worth of food? That's how you have to think of it. Steak? I would say, yeah. However, they also have options where it was like a spaghetti dish. 
I know I can go to the store and spend at most $15 on ingredients to feed us both. So that's literally half of what Blue Apron would have cost. So depending on the meals you get, it's worth it or it's too expensive. My last pro is you can skip weeks so you don't always have to order meals if you don't want to or if you're not going to be home. You won't be charged and you can cancel any time without penalty. So I think that's good that everyone can try it. They do give you a discount when you first try it out. All positives. I did remember one con and that was the cleanup. Holy moly. Different pans, different pots, cutting boards. Yeah, it goes with cooking, I know, but you get what I'm saying. Like, if I make a meal without Blue Apron and I'm just kind of doing my own thing, it might all be in the crock pot. I got one thing to clean up and that's it. This, they have you doing so many things that the cleanup is just horrendous. You gotta pick your battles because you're learning stuff, you're using new ingredients, but you gotta clean up. So now looking at the pros and cons, would I order Blue Apron again at full price? I'm gonna tell you, we did. We got one more week, which you'll see. And then we are going to jump ship and try out HelloFresh just so we can kind of compare the two. And I think there's even Home Chef is another one. I think it can be worth it depending on the meal availability or you'd have to skip that week. I would keep doing it, but for someone who doesn't necessarily like cooking, I could definitely see me getting burned out. So we'll see how it goes. Let me know if you've ever tried Blue Apron or any of those meal kit services. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. If you want, feel free to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye friends.